Hello, how are you? My name is Marcela Pido, and I'm the owner of the tourism agency Extremo Norte. And together with my husband, Jaime Droguet, we have developed tourism in the Atacama Desert and the Altiplano of Chile, always in private trips, cultural and nature for the hundreds of travelers who have visited us in the last 21 years. So let's get started. Chile is the longest country in the world. If we place it in Europe, it would start in Lisbon and end in Moscow. That is the main reason why we have such a wide variety of geography, landscapes, climates, outdoor activities, typical festivities, so many heritage sites, very good wines and delicious flavors. Probably when you think about Chile, you recognize Torres del Paine in Patagonia, Moai in Easter Island, or the Valley of the Moon in San Pedro de Atacama. Certainly fascinating places. However, always very crowded, and I think it is something that is not what we are looking for these days, right? That is why I come to talk about the 14 wonders of the Atacama Desert, a very entertaining program, very varied, which is done in eight days, begins at $2,000 in private tour. But first, let's talk about geography. As you can see in the map at the left, one third of our country is the Atacama Desert, one third. Therefore, when many times travel agents ask for programs in Atacama, we already understand that they refer to San Pedro de Atacama, a small village of 10,000 inhabitants with a spectacular landscapes and mystic atmosphere. All right, that's how it is. But however, Atacama is much more than San Pedro de Atacama. And we have gathered it in a great program where you can visit all its highlights. In this map, you can also see that Chile has a very good connectivity. The planes in blue are the national airports and the arrows indicate that there is connectivity by land with Peru, with Bolivia, with Salardo Uni and with Argentina. Another important thing, Sometimes passengers do not want to come to the Atacama Desert because they say it's very high. Well, it is important then to understand that the Atacama Desert has three levels, three geogra geographical terraces. The first is the coastal desert, which is at the sea level. There is the beach, the airports, there are the main cities, the five stars hotels, hospital, etc. The coastal desert. Then we have the absolute desert, which is um, 1,000 meters above sea level. You feel nothing different. It's also where the Pan American Highway connects Chile, but also connects the entire American continent from Alaska to Patagonia. There are many tourists who dream of traveling this road because they heard about it once or read about this. And finally, we have the Altiplano, where are right in the Andes Mountain, and it's between 11,000 and 16,000 feet high. And you may think it's very high. Well, it is indeed. <laughs> but especially for those of us who are used to live near the beach. However, with a good acclimatization, finally passengers does not feel any discomfort because all the safeguards are taken, especially hydration a lot. Very, very important. And it's quite important as soon as, as we're going up to the mountain. I would say just the first night, maybe you may feel bad, but then the rest is okay. So having clarified this point, we will enter fully into the 14 wonders of the Atacama Desert Program, which take place between the red zone and the green zone, not beyond then the 3,200 feet, all right? Well, what would you expect to see in the Atacama Desert? Is it just desert? Well, well, this is a real photo. This is not the Pan American, it's the coastal road. In fact, on the left, you can see a little bit of the Pacific Ocean and on the right hand side, the coastal mountain range. It is a fairly common sight seen in the Atacama Desert, but it's not the only one you will see. Here, we are going to enter fully into the program. program. Remember the 14 wonders of the Atacama Desert. This program starts in Santiago, taking a plane and landing in Antofagasta maybe a difficult word to pronounce it, but it's one of the most important cities in the northern of Chile. Why? Because we are going to see Paranal Astronomical Observatory, the most important in the world and certainly one of the main wonders of this program. 
It is an hour and a half from Antofagasta. It only receives visitors on Saturday, and it's really, really worth it. When we take groups or couples, one normally one is the interested in understanding the astronomy and the sophisticated equipment the scientists use, and come with someone who is not so interested. But finally, they both like it a lot because they also visit the hotel of the scientists, which is a spectacle itself. It's underground and a James Bond movie was shot there, so imagine, as well as I think it must be the closest image of a space station. It's awesome and it's really, really worth it. Then we'll go to San Pedro de Atacama, as I said before, one of the main tourist attractions of Chile, where we will also do stellar observation with naked eye and also with an astronomer who has his own, own telescopes. This would also be complemented by another astronomical tour, another night, where you will learn from the Andean vision of the Milky Way, which is completely opposite to the scientific vision. And it's very interesting and complementary to learn. In San Pedro de Tacama, for those who are also fans of astronomy, you can visit the meteorite impact of Monturaki, the size of a football field, impressive, and also the meteorite museum, all in San Pedro. In this tour, we combine a variety of landscapes and experiences. So as we are moving towards the north, we will reach Geoglyphs of Pintados, another highlight. And it concentrates the largest amount of rock art in one place, almost 400 figures drawn in the hills, very large, so that they can be seen in the distance. And as it never rains, not a very single year, not sorry, not a very single day of the year ever, they have remained for more than uh, 1,500 years. It's very, very interesting. We also we all always try to make it coincidence coins with a typical festivity on the north of Chile. Very beautiful. In this photo, you at the right you can see La Tirana festivity and takes place in July. But we will see later that there are six or seven festivities during the year so that tourists can also participate. They are local festivities. They are not tourists. So are uh, very impressive with a lot of uh, passion, I would say. Very, very beautiful. This is a delightful photo for photographers as are very colorful and men wear masks. And at night, they are illuminated with LED lights, which make it totally a spectacle. I will show you some pictures later. Continuing to the north, we will go for the most active to make a descent in fat bike in the dunes of Pica. Pica is an oasis in the middle of the desert. The fat bikes are bicycles like the mountain bikes with a wider wheel and were created to be used in the snow of Alaska or in sand. And here we use them in dunes in an absolutely privileged environment. It's an hour of descent, quite fast, but with a little risk. Very little risk, I would say. And it's highly recommended for people who normally ride a bicycle. It's wonderful and it's an amazing feeling of unmatched freedom. Here I have videos and stuff that I can send you later if you want. continue to Iquique. But first, we go to visit the Open Museum of Hamburson, which was declared also World Heritage by site by UNESCO a couple of years ago. Here you can understand how people used to live in the Atacama Desert 100 years ago. It was a very difficult time. In a place where the salt petrol was produced, that was so important for the development of the agriculture in North America and Europe. It also has these, as you can see, these wax figures like the Museum of Madame Tussauds, you, you have been there, 
where you will find the baker, the butcher, the hairdresser, and people take pictures with these figures. Well worth a visit. It's beautiful. The last geoglyph we will see is the Atacama giant, the largest in the world. It has 282 feet high. It has been twice the cover of magazine Nat Geo, and it is also a delightful lover of archaeology because it has a lot of meaning and very similar images between, sorry, images have seen like this in Peru and Bolivia. And finally, at Iquique, a coastal city, very modern, we will see, we will be able to see the Chinchorro Mamis, the oldest in the world with more than 6,000 years old, much older than the Egyptians. I always say the Egyptians have a better marketing, but these are the older, the oldest in the world. And this year they were the clear World Heritage Site. So we are very, very proud of that. Well, as I said before, here are the dates when other religious holidays are celebrated. February, June, July, August, and September. While Extremo Norte will always try to make our trips unforgettable and with a lot of diversity, so tourists see a little of everything, learn about astronomy, also local culture, try different meals, flavor, and know, and know how it is to live in the places so far away for many people. So at the end, I would like to show you a video of one of the hotels that we use at the Atacama Desert. Honestly, my life has changed lately. It's been a while since my last trip, but today I finally have a new chance. A new destination in the far north of Chile, a unique place in the middle of the Atacama Desert. Just here, in Tantacu, I never thought I would find such mysticism and reflection in the desert. I had lost myself, but in this special place, I found myself again. I feel at home. I breathed as I had forgotten. I discovered a place that is out of any logic. And I realized that the ancient traditions should never be lost. I had a trip to the past. I learned how to observe the universe. I felt alive again. I felt the silence of the desert. Now, as I'm enjoying my last night in the desert, I want to thank everyone who helped me find my meeting place. Tantakui. Well, so that's it. I hope you enjoy this presentation I, and I will be delighted to, to, to be in contact with you again. I am Marcela Pido. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Bye-bye.